She is Ethnomusicology, Music in the Real World, and it is the same course, basically, that I teach at the university and have been teaching for several years. Great. So it's part of the musicology sequence uh, that we use, perspectives in music, world music. But the reason it's called Ethnomusicology, Music in the Real World, is I wanted to expand a little bit more and have more freedom in terms of the content to include what the young students are most interested in. So there's a bigger component of American music and the perception of American contemporary music. In other words, it changes every summer. You know, we've got a different uh, emphasis. So that's the course, and it's research, writing, listening to music, discussing music. It's strict musicology there. We go from one idea to another. They're connected, mm -hmm. but each uh, I divide the class into maybe seven or eight periods, really, in my own mind. Okay. So we don't take breaks between them, but there is going from one thing to another so that they don't sit too long. And we do have activities such as standing up and doing some conducting, because one of my preceptors is very adept at conducting, and she taught everybody the pattern. They stood up, listened to some music, and did some conducting. So it's, it's a chance for them to get out of the desk. We also um, have people come in, play, or we'll go to the recital hall in Ophelia Parish in the music building, listen to somebody play. So we get up and move around. And we connect, everything's connected the first week with an introduction to music, the psychology, the sociology of music, how musicians interact with each other. And um, that's, but it's divided up. So yeah, we don't sit too long. That's Good. bad. Thanks. And this year, 2010, what I've noticed, we have a very serious group of students, intelligent, thoughtful, and here's the big one, articulate. Um, as articulate as many of my college classes in terms of just the general group. So they can speak while they have a lot of confidence and they're respectful to each other. So good. that impresses me a lot. Yeah, yeah, this is a good group. Yeah. This is the seventh time I've taught JBA. Before that, I taught 15 years, Thousand Hills Piano Camp. I'm a pianist. Uh, did that, and before that I taught the University of Kansas um, Music and Art Camp. So I've been doing camps for a long, long time because I like people this age.